I'm Joshua Bardwell, and you're going to learn something today. You guys got to stop doing this. You got to stop flashing your flight controller with the STM32 F405 target. Here, here's what happens. You want to flash your flight controller to a new version. So you go looking and you see in the product listing for your flight controller that it has an STM32 F405 chip on it. So you go, oh, which of these should I use? And you know, oh, you see STM32 F405 and you flash it. And then like you go to your ports tab and all of your UARTs are gone and your flight controller says your gyro is missing. Here's what, here's the deal. When Betaflight 4.1 comes out, they're going to introduce a new thing called generic targets. And the way generic targets will work is instead of having a zillion, bajillion targets here, there will be just like one STM32 F405 target. And then after you flash that target, your vendor, your manufacturer will give you some command line te text to put in to finish the configuration of the flight controller. And the advantage of this is that anybody can make a new target without having to go through the beta flight devs and have this big holdup. And it means that manufacturers can easily release new, anyway, that's fine. But the STM32 F405 is not a complete target. It is, when you flash that, your flight controller is not fully configured. There are a few flight controllers out there right now where if you look on the product page, it says flash the STM32 F405 target and then paste these lines in. If you have one of those flight controllers, then yes, you do need to flash this one and then you need to paste in the command line configuration that will finish the config. But for everybody else, just because you have an STM32 F405 chip on your flight controller, do not flash the F405 target because it, you will not have a working flight controller at that point. And I'm making this video because I've gotten se several questions in a row over the last couple of weeks. People who are trying to flash their flight controller don't know what to do. And it's a perfectly normal assumption. You know, well, mine's an F405. No, that's for later, except there are a couple of boards now that actually use it, but most boards don't. Okay. So then what target should you use? What you got to do is you got to, when you get your flight controller, the very first thing you should do is go to the CLI and type dump all. And that will dump your whole configuration. And you save that to a text file. And then later on, when you screw up your configuration or you flash your flight controller and lose your config, then you got it. You got it back. You don't have to go ask the manufacturer or beg on the internet to say, get your config back. But one of the things that'll be in here is right at the very, very top of that is this is the target that you need to use when you flash your flight controller. If you already flashed it and you lost it, then that's not going to work for you. I'm sorry, I'm not laughing at your pain. I'm, I'm just, I'm wincing at your pain. And sometimes that comes out as laughter. <laughs> what you got to do is you got to go, you got to find out what your target is by going back to the manufacturer or, or you can just ask me and I'll do my best to help you. Okay, there you go. Now you know. Thanks for watching. Happy flying.